<laughs> Scott, I look what I found. <laughs> I thought yeah. I'd bring it over to show you because I really like to print something big like this. Now that I've learned the whole infill thing, and it looks like it's got maybe like a honeycomb. You might be right, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. It seems like it needs a lot of infills. I don't know if there's such thing as too much infill, too little infill, and then how you get something on the top like that to close it out. So interesting you asked about that, Sarah, because <laughs> we're gonna set this down for a minute and you're gonna slow down. Boat, okay. Boat's running a little too quick. So we need to go back and look at the top layers test, which takes into account all of the things that we've talked about up to this point. Okay. And also looks at how to get the fine surface finish on the top of your part. Perfect. The two things you want to balance here are your infill percentage and the number of top layers. If you have too much infill, your print is going to take a really long time. It will be very strong, but it'll take a lot of material and a lot of time. It'll be heavy too. It'll be very heavy. Okay. And if you have too few top layers, you won't have that good surface finish you're looking for and your boss probably won't be real happy with your part. <laughs> probably not. <laughs> Some of the things we look for, a uh, number of top layers and full percentage. And I usually go through my slicing and in there there's a preview you can look at. And in that preview you can scroll down and see where it builds each layer. Um, so I typically will change the percentage and the number of top layers in that preview. Okay. Um, until I, it kind of looks like I, I like it. Yeah. And then I'll print a section of that part or a small, a small box, kind of like uh, what's printing on this printer here. And that'll tell me if my infill percentage is good and the number of top layers is good. So as I blow up that print, you'll be more successful. Now. I'm ready for this. <laughs> Stay tuned. <laughs> if you would like to learn along with me, you can request your free kit or brochure by clicking the link or sending us a message, and we will see you next time. Thanks.